So the question is, what would I do about the the approximately two hundred million dollar city debt? I've answered this question many times two years ago. First thing I'd do is quit adding to it. I'd uh, start being a government instead of being a developer and a marketing firm. And debt in the city, it's for infrastructure. But you know what? We could pay for our infrastructure improvements if we sold some of the properties that we don't need. We don't need to have a hotel. We don't need to have a campground of 135 acres on the ocean and other properties. The city just needs to get out of the business of being the developer and they just need to be accommodating to more people and more development. So. I have an interesting, interesting perspective of I'm a challenger in this year's race, but I served 16 years on city council where I'll be honest with you, much of the debt that we have was a part of decisions that I voted for. And you first have to understand that there are a variety of types of debt obligations that the city has. There's what we call general obligation debt, which is what the general taxpayer is responsible for, or there's what we call revenue bonds which are actually being paid for by an asset that was built and the revenue generated from that is what repays the debt. When you put that in perspective, we roughly have more than $200 million in total debt. And I would say that there are some headwinds that we're going to be facing in the next several years that is going to need folks that have experience to offer good fiscal management and possibly with some new tax revenues that would be coming to the city. I certainly would use that to look at where we can reduce our debt on assets that are going to need to be replaced or improved. Thank you very much. I love following a banker who talked about debt in a very intelligent way. Um, here's the thing about um, debt in addition to what Mr. Gray, Gray has said. For example, I hope that we build a new library. To do that, we're going to have to sell some bonds. If we wait until we have the $15 million needed to build the library, guess who's going to pay for the library? You and me, and we'll be dead before that new library is built. That's one of the reasons that responsible debt for municipal government is important. And over our heads, I think Mr. Gray is right. We're going to be facing some headwinds. The same financial manager told council how many years ago before I was on, before the recession, when we were doing great. Don't spend this money. This is not real money. And the city didn't at the time. So we rely heavily on um, financial advisors and bonding agencies to help us. Thank you so much. That is very important. I, I agree. I think that what some folks on, everyone that's spoken so far has some great points. Um, we are one of the fastest growing cities in the nation. As a growing city, as a city whose face and future is still being drawn and written, um, debt is going to happen. It has to be managed properly. Uh, I've, I've met, I've had meetings with some of the finance department before. One of the great things that I take pride in is building relationships with different people in city departments, whether it's construction services, the finance department, Michelle and Michael in there, and Michael Price do a fantastic job of advising city council on, on what moves to make and what moves not to make. And that is the expertise of the city's financial department to make sure that we are in good shape that, so that city council current and in the future can set policy that is in alliance and accordance with some of their recommendations and sometimes not. We are growing. That debt may continue to grow for a bit. It is something to make our city better, safer, sidewalks that need to be installed, things like that, so that we can make these things go up, such as the bond rating. So our debt all of a sudden has a higher purpose of the The simple answer is we're going to start reducing that debt and getting rid of these city-owned properties that compete with private enterprise.